Hello everyone, and welcome back to the latest Minty Reacts, and we are here for episode number 16 of Avatar The Last Airbender. And yes, we are getting near the end of season 1. I am still doing this in the same recording session as I did episode 15, which is right back there. Hopefully you watched that before this one, that's just kind of weird if you didn't. But whatever, I'm not going to judge, it's, it's a video, whatever, you can do whatever you want. But either way, here episode 16 called The Deserter. Last episode was a fun one, not a fun one, it was a good one. I need to refrain from saying fun all the time for every episode that's you know really serious it was a good episode we got to see a lot of character growth for ang got to see some character regression for ang as well but more character growth as well because he a really cool monster in there as well and we got to see some cool Sokka stuff and some cool katara stuff as well but by the way episode 16 here called the deserter we're gonna get some fire nation stuff in this one i'm pretty sure just from the thumbnail on netflix so let's just get right into it because i just want to keep getting through these episodes and get to the end of season one so let's keep going so in three two one let's get going should give us a good idea what's around here. See if you can find a menu. I'm starving. <laughs> Sokka, you always are. This would be a great place for me to study some real firebenders. Nice. You might want to rethink that. Look at this. Oh, hey, you're also wanted. Me. Hey, and the blue spirit, let's go. And the blue spirit's also on there too. Mm hmm. And if it looks like trouble, we'll leave. Yeah, because we always leave before we get the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that though? Yeah, who are these other wanted posters other than the Blue Spirit, obviously? We kind of know who that is. But who are the other ones, though? Yes, they'll never see you, Aang. They will never see you that way. I think we need some new disguises. He's a mask. are we going to get masks like that? Get your genuine fire festival masks here. There we go. Right there. Best in town. I'll take them. Flaming fire flakes. That sounds like I was gonna say that sounds like it's gonna be hot. Flaming fire flakes. Hot. <laughs> it's probably just like legit just like crushed peppers. <laughs> One can surprise the fire lord. Oh no. Well, that's violent for a puppet show. Proud, so it must be good. Knowing the fire fair enough, fair enough. it's probably an execution. Also fair enough. Bo both both statements completely fair. I gotta learn that trick. Thank you. For my next trick, I need a volunteer from the audience. Oh god, it's it's the voice of Robin again. He's back. Uh oh, she's shy. Let's give her some encouragement, folks. Yeah. Oh no. This might go poorly. This might go real poorly. Okay, okay. Interesting start, interesting start. That's a fire dragon, that's really cool. That's really cool. He's gonna hit right on her! Oh no! Okay, that was really cool though. That was very cool though. Like, I mean, that was all performance, like, she was never in danger. But you just outed yourself to the Fire Nation. Great job. That's a lot of fireworks. That's a lot of fireworks. Just blow the city up, well, why don't you, with a bunch of fireworks. Just, just do that. And it all worked out in the end. A living legend, Zhong Zhong the Deserter. He was a Fire Nation general. But wait, was he an admiral? He was very highly ranked, we get it. Yeah, he was a high-ranked Fire Nation, that's all you need to know. Oh, see him! He can train me! We're not gonna go find some crazy firebender. He's not crazy. He's a genius. And he's the Sometimes there is no difference between the two. It can't hurt just to talk to him. That's what you said about going to the festival. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? <laughs> you know, I kinda gotta agree with Sokka at this point. I kinda have to agree. It's like, you know, so the festival's gonna be fine too, but clearly it wasn't. Go on. He sees you only. Oh, well, that's okay. We can chat later. Is that where Zhang Zhang is? I need to talk to him right away. No, 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 you don't get to. Yeah, it's like, Aang, you don't get to talk to him. Yes, sir. But other than that, the festival went off without a hitch. <laughs> no fights? Theft was way down. I don't... That's good. Hey, that's good. Look, crime rate went down for the festival. That's, that's a good thing. He see me. He says you're not ready. Says you haven't mastered water bending and earth bending yet. Wait. That is true. He has not. That? I mean, no, Aang, he is, he is right, though. You haven't mastered any of the elements other than air. 
And even then, you still need a little more training at him. What would a boy know of destiny? If a fish lives its whole life in this river, does he know the river's destiny? No. Hey, yes. Not not a bad line. Not a bad line. The end. He cannot imagine the ocean. Oh. All good things. All good. All good things to say. Yes. I have to learn. This could be my only chance. Are you deaf? How can I teach you if you refuse to listen? He's got a point there, Ang. You haven't learned anything yet. <laughs> Without the bender, a rock will not throw itself. But fire will spread and destroy everything in its path if one does not have the will to control. He is incredibly accurate. You have to learn the other elements before you can learn fire, because fire is the hardest one to learn. I will teach you. Really? That's great. <laughs> <sighs> you have to learn the other elements, Ang. You have to learn discipline. Do now. Silence. Talking you is not just concentrate. Look at your friend. Is she talking? Even that oaf knows to concentrate on what he's doing. Hey. Yeah, Ang. Just concentrate. So when do I get to make some fire? Concentrate! Ang, you're rushing this. You cannot rush this. <laughs> you can't rush the learning process. This is why you have to learn water first. Without talking. Good. Keep going. Yes, you have to you have to master the techniques of it first before you can start actually bending Ang. This is the same training you went through in the Air Temple a hundred years ago. In learning discipline, he was only concerned with the power of fire, how he could use it to destroy his opponents and wipe out the obstacle. I think that would, I think he's talking about the Fire Lord. Oof. Just burn down the entire forest, why don't you? Destroying yourself and everything you love. Yeah, and you have to learn how to control your own body first before you can start learning any of these elements. The edges of the leaf for as long as you can. Master, there is trouble. What's going on? Concentrate on your leaf. Yeah, train, Aang, train. You need to train. Concentrate or breathe. I'm sure yes. there's a good reason. It's but called discipline. To do so much more. It's called discipline, Aang. You have to get disciplined. That's how you get better. Also, he said to not have the fire reach the edge of the leaf, not burn the leaf. You'll hurt yourself. Aang, you need to stop this. Stop this, Aang. I wonder how that juggler did it. Stop it, Aang. You're gonna burn everything down. Katara, what's Aang. Wrong? What did you do? It was an accident. I was uh, Katara. I'm so. Uh, I told you. This is why he said to teach you discipline. Yeah, Aang, this is your fault. <laughs> you needed to learn discipline. You were messing with something very dangerous. Fire is very dangerous and very different than air. I'm sorry. You didn't listen. You didn't listen and you weren't disciplined. And I made the master look like an idiot too for even trying to teach you to first in the first place. Yeah, plus your water bender. They can probably do like weird healing stuff too. As adjusted right there. There we go. Weird healing stuff because they're water bender. And savagery. Yep. Eventually, we're torn apart. Yes. Yeah, water brings about life and calm. Fire is destruction and chaos. Don't worry, man. My old teacher gave up fighting a long time ago. Oh, he's taught him. Okay, I had a feeling that's what he was talking about in that little part there, but wasn't entirely sure. Katara, are you all right? I'm fine. We've got to get out of here. Where's Aang? Probably Salkin again. Probably Salkin. Never again. It's okay, Aang. I'm healed. What? How? I'll explain later. But right now we have. How are you healed? Because I'm a waterbender. That's just something I can do. It's like you being able to bend everything. That title not help you against the avatar do not try to fight him you are no match i think i can handle a child <laughs> i you haven't so far my guy you haven't so far <laughs> hell even zuko beat your ass that was in like episode three old master has taught you you were john john student until i got bored <laughs> <laughs> 
Admiral Zhao is a great antagonist, though. He's a great, like, actual villain. <laughs> no self control. Nope, he does not. He has no control over it. He's very powerful, but he has no control over it. <laughs> Just keep taunting him. He'll eventually burn his boats down. Oh. Aang is really good at annoying his opponents, though. He has that Spider-Man energy to him. Are you crazy? You haven't thrown a single blow. No, but you have. <laughs> You've burned down your entire fleet of boats. You can't leave here. <laughs> Congratulations, Zhao. You're trapped here. Hey, where'd everybody go? <laughs> Very funny, guys. No, they're gone. We will see them again once Aang has mastered the other elements. <laughs> I'm sure of it. All right, we now got a cleric in the group here. <laughs> We've got, or at least a, a healing druid in the group. <laughs> Two fish hooks in my thumb. <laughs> Two. I tried to get the first fish hook out with another fish hook. That's stupid. And the time that mink snake bit me. That's a really stupid idea, though, Sokka. Why, why get one fish hook out with another fish hook? That's just a really bad idea. <laughs> that's a that's a really really bad idea to do that. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, that was a that was a that was a good episode. That was a, that was a very good episode. I I like the fact that we actually got Aang realizing, hey, you need to actually train with these things. You can't just go into it headstrong and just immediately know it. That's not how this works. Like, yes, you are the avatar and you are supposed to master all of these things. However, you still need to learn how to do them. That is a really big deal. And again, with this being a overall technical speaking kid show, I do like the fact that that message is actually still in there along with the overarching wide, wide telling story of the whole thing. The message inside of it is listen to your teachers and don't <laughs> just have a little bit of patience when it comes to learning your things. Like if you if you have a passion and you want to like master it and be good at it, you can't just immediately think, I'm going to just master this immediately when you first start it. That's not going to happen. Think like bad things are going to happen. Like if, if it's something like, you know, combat related, you're going to hurt or like physically active, like you're going to hurt yourself. Like, you know, if you start lifting weights, this is the thing that I've been doing. I've been, I've been going to the gym lately. I've been lifting weights. And it's like, did I start out trying to like bench press like 200 pounds? No, I still can't do that. I, what I started out with was just doing like some normal like dumbbell like dumbbell presses of like 10 pounds just to get the form correct. Once you get a form correct, then you can start increasing things. Same thing here. Once you learn the maneuvers and learn the discipline of it for firebending, in this case, learn the breathing techniques, learn the stance properly and learn how to focus, then you can move on to bigger things of actually learning how to master the element itself. That's how anything goes. That's how training goes. That's just unless you're like literally born as a complete savant at something, which is incredibly rare, you still need to train. And even then, if you're born with a savant, like a savant, uh, certain things, you still need to get better at certain things, still need to train anyway. But either way, I like the whole message of that episode of like, yeah, no, Take it slow, be patient, and, you know, l like, learn from your teachers. Learn from your elders here, and actually listen to what they're trying to tell you and listen to what they're saying. Because I think that's a really important message that a lot of people can learn from, myself included. Like, that's just a, that's just a good message for literally anybody, is just, you know, take it slow and, you know, actually actually try and learn the thing you're trying to learn um, rather than rushing into it. So that was a really good episode. I like that. I love the battle between uh, between Aang and um, Zhao. That was great. I I also really like Zhao as a, as a villain. Like, he's a really great villain. Whereas, like, Zuko and Iroh are antagonists. Zuko, for sure, antagonist. But even though he's technically a villain, he's not. He is just the literary form of an antagonist, where he is the opposing force 
to Aang, who is our protagonist. But even then, we've gotten enough character development of Zuko to be like, yeah, no, he's like his own protagonist here. Like, we understand what he's going through. He's just the antagonist to Aang, but he's not a villain. He's a lot more complex than that. Whereas Zhao is just a villain. He is a bad guy, like, which is completely fine. Like, it's 100% okay to have a bad guy in a show, like, this, like show in general, and also in a show like this, is to compare and to, to contrast. And so we can have moments like this where we have a great battle between Aang and and Zhao. It's really cool. But I also like the fact we actually got some backstory on Zhao, too. It's like, oh yeah, he completely disregarded his master because he's like, no, I've mastered this already. I'm great at this. But he lacks self-control. To go back to my original point that I said over there of learning patience and learning control, and that's how you get better at whatever you're doing. Which is a cool thing. This episode was great. This episode was really, really, really great. I, I loved... I loved, I loved the whole package of the episode. There were some, per, there were some little parts in it where I'm like, okay, again, there's the middle part where Aang was being very childish, but Aang is maturing, he's growing as the series is going. That's a whole thing that's called character development. I understand, but a whole episode as a package, whole package, great episode. Love this thing so much. But either way, let me know down what you, let me know what you think down in the comments as well about this episode as well, and about my whole like little little, not rant, but my whole, like, little preachy segment, there, my whole TED talk about uh, learning patience. Like, you know, let me know what you think about that as well. And as well, anything else you want to let me know down in the comments as well. If you like this reaction as well, want to see more, definitely leave a little like. It definitely helps out in the almighty YouTube algorithm to help push the video out further to everyone. And commenting as well also helps too. And if you like these reactions and want to see more and want to stay up to date on all the reactions I do and all the other content I post as well, leave a little subscription as well. It definitely does truly help out and does truly mean a lot to me as well. Because I put a lot of time and effort into these videos as well and the other videos that I put out as well. I've said as well a lot. But either way, right over here is going to be a playlist for the rest of the Avatar videos. Go ahead and watch those too as we're finishing up the season. And over here is going to be a video that YouTube recommends for you too. And until next time, just stay bending everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then... Peace, everyone. Peace.